Leaders, welcome to week four of On Purpose. This week's question is interesting. Moses says, how can I? And there's really two parts to this. The first is on the spiritual side. I don't think he's fully convinced that he's the one. Like, really God, how can I do what you're calling me to do? So there's some unbelief there. The other side of that is a practical side, which is, God, this is so daunting, this purpose that you're calling me to do. How can I even possibly do this? I don't have what it takes to do that. I don't know where you're at. Maybe you're on either side of those, but this is a good question for us to consider today. Because if God's calling us to some things, chances are good it's outside of our comfort zone. It's uh, hitting against some of our weaknesses, and we may not recognize that we already have the gifts and the abilities to accomplish this. We just need to trust in God. That's what our focus is this week, is that God equips us when He calls us. There is not anything that He's going to call us to do that He's not also going to equip us to go after. And so this week, in your group, you're going to spend some time understanding spiritual gifts. Here's the truth. All of us, every single one of us as Christ followers, have been given spiritual gifts. Some of us understand them, some of us are using them, we might, or some of us might not even know uh, what they are. So the goal for this week is for everybody to understand and begin to feel comfortable with their spiritual gifts. So I encourage you, tell everybody to go to eastview.church slash mygifts, eastview.church slash mygifts, and that's the assessment that we want everybody to take. Hopefully, they'll take that before you gather so that you can spend the majority of your group time together talking through that. would love for everybody to share at least one or two of their gifts and then for you as a group to encourage one another. Yeah, that's right. I see that you have the gift of hospitality or yeah, you do have some leadership qualities or you know what? You are just so bold in sharing your story. I can see the gift of evangelism living out in your life. That's what we want you to do. Spend time understanding, marinating what it means to have spiritual gifts and then push one another to live those out this week. Our leader tip uh, for this week is all about connectivity. We know this to be true that the best groups, the healthiest groups are those that connect throughout the week, not just once a week during your group gathering. So hopefully you already have this established, but if you don't, I encourage you to figure out a way to communicate with one another via text, via an app, uh, maybe use Facebook, whatever it is, the more you interact throughout the week, the more your group's gonna connect with one another. You might even wanna use it this week specifically to keep going with spiritual gifts. Leaders, thanks so much for all that you do. I'm really excited for this week because I know that there's something for each one of us. Have a great week.